What kids movie has no right to be as good as it is? All the Mice Movies, An American Tale, Secret of LIMH, The Rescuers. I lived in New York for a while and was horrified by the thought of having to kill a little fever. <laughs> Treasure Planet, classic literature meets science fiction interpretation that I found delightful and would watch again and again. <laughs> Matilda. Danny DeVito and Miss Trunchbull are great. <laughs> a Muppet Christmas Carol is the best version of a Christmas Carol. Treasure Planet. The Goofy Movie smacked while I was a kid. And even more so, now that I'm a grown ass man. Edit, glad to see I have this in common with so many people. You all are the goats. Also thanks for the awards. All Wale and Gromit films are fantastic. But A Grand Day Out was made on £10. 000, and you can tell. Not because it's shoddy, but because not a single movement of its clay animation is wasted. It's perfect. The amount of time and effort that that film must have taken baffles me. Holes. 100%. Nearly flawless movie. I can't believe no one has said it. But I personally love The Prince of Egypt. I'm not religious, but that movie is so well made. Meet the Robinsons. Lilo and Stitch. Megamind. El Dorado. Atlantis. Treasure Planet. Up. I'm an adult man and the opening sequence just broke my heart. I sobbed like I haven't in a very long time. The Iron Giant. Second place, The Brave Little Toaster. Hook. Way better than any children's movie I can think of besides Princess Bride or The NeverEnding Story. Robin Williams opposite Dustin Hoffman with Bob Hoskins and Julia Roberts. All playing characters like it was the most fun they'd ever had. <laughs> Heavyweights. That movie is hilarious. Edit. Thanks for the award. Kind stranger. Hi 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 hi. <laughs> How to train your dragon. <laughs> the Sandlet. <laughs> Wall-E.